Welcome to our world news program. Today, we're diving into some fascinating stories from around the globe. First up, Japan's gymnastics team has clinched gold at the Paris Olympics, thanks to Daiki Hashimoto's stellar performance on the horizontal bar. Despite being the sole athlete on the floor, Hashimoto credits his team for their unwavering support, highlighting the power of collective effort in achieving greatness. Next, let's talk about China's proposed national cyberspace ID. This initiative aims to protect personal information and create a trusted online identity system. However, legal experts are raising red flags about potential privacy issues and increased government surveillance, sparking a heated debate on its implications for social control. Finally, the prestigious Shaw Prize for 2024 has been awarded to some of the brightest minds in science and mathematics. Laureates like Sui Lei Thane, Stuart Orkin, Peter Sarnak, and Srinivasar, Kulkarni are not only being recognized for their groundbreaking contributions but are also sharing invaluable life lessons and career advice. Please stay tuned for the detailed coverage of these stories and more. Japan Times, in the electrifying atmosphere of Bursi Arena, Daiki Hashimoto stood alone on the horizontal bar, his every move watched intently by the audience. The 22-year-old gymnast executed a flawless routine, culminating in a dismount that drew thunderous applause. His performance, which earned him a score of 14.566, was crucial in propelling Japan past China to secure the gold medal in the men's gymnastics team competition at the Paris Olympics. Despite the solitary nature of his moment of glory, Hashimoto was quick to emphasize the collective effort behind his success, underscoring the supportive spirit that characterized the Japanese team's triumph. South China Morning Post China is contemplating the introduction of a national cyberspace ID aimed at enhancing data security and protecting personal information, but legal experts warn it could lead to increased surveillance and social control. The draft regulations propose a unified network number and a digital authentication credential, allowing users to verify their identities online without revealing personal details. While the initiative claims to minimize data collection and protect privacy, Experts like Shin Kuei from Peking University caution that it could centralize and monitor individuals' online activities, stifling free expression and leading to a surveillance state. The system's voluntary nature is also questioned, with concerns that it might become mandatory, stripping users of their choice to participate. South China Morning Post, the Shaw Prize, an esteemed international award recognizing significant contributions to modern civilization, was recently awarded to four distinguished scientists and a mathematician. Sui Lei Thane and Stuart Orkin were honored for their groundbreaking work on the genetic mechanisms of hemoglobin production, leading to effective treatments for sickle cell anemia and beta thalassemia. Peter Sarnak received the prize for his contributions to the arithmetic theory of thin groups, while Srinivasar Kulkarni was recognized for his discoveries in time domain astronomy. Each laureate shared insights into their journeys, emphasizing the importance of lifelong learning, persistence, and staying true to oneself. Their stories highlight the blend of dedication, innovation, and collaboration that drives scientific and mathematical breakthroughs. Nikkei Asia, policymakers are grappling with how to prevent unexpected contingencies in the South China Sea, as tensions remain high between the US and China. At recent ASEAN-related foreign ministers' meetings in Laos, no clear path toward easing tensions was found. China continues its aggressive maritime expansion, ignoring a 2016 international tribunal ruling that invalidated its claims. The US and Japan, among others, must deter Beijing through multilateral cooperation and support the Philippines, which faces direct pressure from China. The US accused China of intimidation, while Beijing blamed Washington for exacerbating the situation. Despite a temporary arrangement on supply activities between the Philippines and China, tensions remain. Japan, the Philippines, and the US have strengthened their military cooperation, and Australia has joined their joint exercises. With the upcoming US presidential election, Japan needs to help reduce the burden on the US to prevent China from exploiting any power vacuums. The global community must prevent the South China Sea from becoming another conflict zone, crucial as it is for maritime transport. Nikkei Asia, the Paris Olympics have been overshadowed by a doping scandal involving Chinese swimmers, with new revelations surfacing. Chinese swimmers have repeatedly tested positive for banned substances, often blamed on food contamination. This has strained relations between the US and China and caused friction between American and global anti-doping agencies. The New York Times reported that two top Chinese swimmers tested positive in 2022 but were allowed to compete after a Chinese investigation blamed tainted hamburgers. This follows a pattern seen before the Tokyo Olympics when 23 Chinese swimmers tested positive for trimetazidine, TMZ. 
The U.S. has launched a criminal investigation, and U.S. lawmakers have threatened to cut funding for the World Anti-Doping Agency, WADA. A proposed bill would give the White House power to reduce or revoke U.S. financial support for WADA. The International Olympic Committee has supported WADA, warning that it could revoke Salt Lake City's 2034 Winter Games bid if the U.S. does not back off. The scandal has caused concerns among athletes and threatens to affect future Olympics. South China Morning Post The China-backed Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, AIIB, has exceeded its climate change financing goals ahead of schedule and plans to ramp up such lending, focusing on projects in ASEAN countries. AIIB President Jean LeCun emphasized the need for ASEAN nations to strengthen connectivity and finance climate change mitigation and adaptation projects. Indonesia and Vietnam are key recipients of AIIB financing, but the overall amount remains insufficient. The bank aims to improve the effectiveness of its financing and has launched a new lending initiative to incentivize nations to enhance their regulatory environments for climate financing. The first loan under this policy was a $400 million facility to Bangladesh for sustainable development projects. AIIB is also discussing similar financing with India, Indonesia, and Central Asian nations. Jean called for international cooperation to achieve net zero emissions and combat climate change. The bank is also undergoing leadership changes, with several vice president positions to be filled in the coming months. BBC reports that dozens of staff at the Singapore office of TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, were hospitalized due to a mass food poisoning incident. On Tuesday, 60 employees exhibited symptoms of gastroenteritis, with 57 requiring hospital treatment. ByteDance is investigating the cause, as no food is prepared on-site and third-party caterers supply meals. 17 ambulances responded to the incident in Singapore's business district. The Singapore Food Agency emphasized the importance of adhering to food safety practices and warned of enforcement actions against any violators. ByteDance, founded in 2012, achieved international success with TikTok, which has over a billion active users globally. The New York Times reports that the Olympic triathlon events in the Seine will proceed as planned, despite pollution concerns. Heavy rainfall over the weekend had raised bacteria levels, causing the postponement of the men's individual race initially scheduled for Tuesday. However, after reviewing the latest water quality analysis early Wednesday, officials deemed it safe for the women's race at 8 a.m. and the rescheduled men's race at 10.45 a.m. The international governing body, World Triathlon, confirmed the compliance of water quality and announced, we will swim, ensuring the continuation of the events. According to the South China Morning Post, Shermao Group Holdings has received a second reprieve to restructure its debt, extending the deadline to August 12. The Shanghai-based company is working to resolve 1.58 billion Hong Kong dollars, 202.3 million US dollars, in borrowings after a liquidation case by China Construction Bank, Asia. The Hong Kong High Court granted this extension following amendments to Shermao's debt restructuring terms. This includes changes to the redemption and repayment schedules, which a significant portion of creditors have accepted. Shermao, facing 11.7 billion US dollars in offshore debt, is among several Chinese developers seeking extensions to avoid liquidation, with others like Times China and Country Garden Holdings also receiving reprieves. South China Morning Post, Samsung Electronics reported its fastest net income growth since 2010, driven by a surge in its semiconductor division, thanks to the AI boom. The world's largest maker of memory and smartphones saw net income skyrocket sixfold to 9.64 trillion won, 6.96 billion US dollars, in the June quarter, surpassing analysts' expectations of 7.97 trillion won. Preliminary reports had already hinted at a 15-fold rise in operating profit and a 23% revenue increase, the highest since 2021, indicating a recovery in global computing markets post-COVID, fueled by AI investments from the US to China. Samsung, like SK Hynix, supplies semiconductors for servers and mobile devices and a range of consumer electronics. Tom Kong from CounterPoint Research noted the high demand for server-related products as a key factor. The Galaxy S24 also boosted sales of camera sensors, chips, and displays. Samsung's semiconductor unit posted a better-than-expected 6.45 trillion won operating profit, its second consecutive profitable quarter after four losses driven by rising memory prices and high demand for high-bandwidth memory chips, HBMs, essential for AI. Despite concerns about its market position in the HBM sector, Samsung is closing the gap with SK Hynix, 
having secured NVIDIA's approval for its HBM3 chips and anticipating approval for HBM3e soon. Samsung plans to expand capacity to meet the growing demand for AI-related products. Both DROM and NAND prices increased, boosting operating income in Samsung's foundry business, which is expected to rebound in the year's second half. Meanwhile, SK Hynix has benefited from the demand for components essential for AI services like ChatGPT, with HBM revenue surging over 250% in the June quarter. Samsung will prioritize HBM and server memory production, potentially constraining supply for PC and mobile products. South Korea's semiconductor exports jumped 57.5% in the first 20 days of July, signaling a global tech demand recovery. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO Brief via email. Morning sunlight on the street City whispers soft and sweet Faces mix in daily grind Every story intertwined Cultures blend like colors bright Languages in the silent night On the table stories told Food and feast upon soul People living day by day In the heart they find their way Sharing moments, voices sing In this world of everything Society in rhythms beat Entertainment's fleeting Speak of days gone by Washing shadows from the sky